What's going on everybody? Thanks for tuning into the Move OTX channel here today. So I'm coming at you once again from Windy Hill Preserve in the town of Portola Valley, California. And I managed to get great parking in the main lot. And I want to show you our itinerary today. So we are here at the main parking lot. We're going to hike up um, Spring Ridge Trail, Betsy Crowder Trail, up Spring Ridge Trail. And we're going to do the main loop all the way along the Highway 35 Ridge along Skyline Boulevard. And we're going to traverse back on Razorback Ridge Trail and hike back down into Portola Valley. And along the way here, I'm going to show you guys an old Eagle Scout project trail along a creek. And that's the itinerary for today. So, weather, once again, is awesome. So, this is pretty much an uphill climb for the first three miles or so. And for the remaining four or five miles, it's kind of a horizontal trek. So, we're still basically at the trailhead, trying to get past the bulk of the crowd coming back down from their hikes. So, I like to do my hikes in the afternoon. So, it's about 12.30 right now, so we're getting a pretty good start here. So everything is still really, really lush, really, really green. It's only early April. So, we're still kind of at the tail end of our rainy season here, so. And California Bay Area, this is the rainy season. So, we don't really get long, drawn out, heavy rainstorms for the most part. Kind of get cloud bursts and day showers, maybe weekend showers, but that's pretty much it. And this is my favorite time to hike too, by far. Everything's, everything's still lush and green. Temperature's not too hot. Great, great time of year to be out on the trails. Coming up on our first trail junction, this actually loops back around and back down into Portola Road and the main parking area. But we're going this way because this will climb us up and out of Portola Valley to the summit. So the summit on this hike is a little over 2,000 feet. So some spectacular views up along that ridge at that elevation. But most of this is going to be me huffing, puffing, and smiling all along the way. Still smiles, happy as a clam, not too tired yet. So this is our next trail junction. So we're going to the Windy Hill Summit, 1.8 miles, up this way. I don't think my camera is doing the elevation justice, but... Oh, condor just flew right overhead. That is cool. Check that out. Can you guys see him? There he goes. Right over my head. So anyways, as I was saying, I don't think... My camera is doing elevation justice, but we are climbing, and I hope you guys can get that sense from my breathing and my shortness of breath periodically as I talk. Alrighty, y'all. So that is Windy Hill, and this is the fire road trek up the hill. It's about another 1.75 miles. It's a very popular trail. Um, those of you living on the East Bay, Fremont, and maybe Alviso area, if you look west towards these hills, you can see this bald patch of hillside from across the bay. So, we hiked up and out of the oak forest, and now we're going to continue up to the summit. 
just to give you guys some sense of direction, that way is Mount Diablo. Okay, Mission Peak in Fremont is right there. And Foothills Park, the summit at 1900 feet is right up there. You can see the fire road going up the hill. And Portola Valley is right down there. Okay, so we're still uh, making the trek up here. So we're gonna hike on up the fire road to the summit and we're gonna traverse that away along that ridge and we're gonna drop down in that gorgeous redwood forest through Razorback Ridge Trail. Really hope my camera captures the vibrant, radiant colors of these flowers. Alrighty guys, so we trekked up that main hillside fire road climb and that was about three miles I think, not too bad. So did the whole hike up thus far in about an hour and five minutes. So not too bad, that means I'm doing about a three mile per hour speed. And let's see, we were down here at the main parking lot. We came up Spring Ridge Trail. Oh, no, sorry, we came up Betsy Crowder Trail, up Spring Ridge Trail this way, and now we're here. So the bulk of our climb and our ascent is done, and we're going to climb up this way to the actual summit, 1,900 feet, and we'll keep going. We'll go down this way, Lost Trail, Lost Trail, Lost Trail, Razorback Ridge, and along Eagle Scout Trail, and back into the main section of the park. So you can actually drive up here, and a lot of people actually do that and park along this ridge. There's at least a couple parking spaces along this route, and that's probably the more fun way to do it. We do it our way here on my channel, and in my channel, we huff and we puff. So, anyways, um, I'm going to go up this way and up Anniversary Trail to the Windy Hill Summit. So I apologize for the wind noise. We're still actually climbing. So we've got another about 200 feet of elevation climb to make. Some wildfire warning posted. They don't want you picking the flowers. Do not pick flowers. As fun as that is, not here. So, we're heading up Anniversary Trail. Still smiles, not too tired, not yet anyways, so we'll keep going. Already apologize for the wind noise, but we're gonna take this little detour to the Herb Grinch Overlook. And that is one of the summit areas of this hike. So gotta hike up another little hill. And the cool thing about this view is you can look southwest, kind of a southwesterly or westernly direction out towards the Pacific. And that is wide open. I think it's BLM land for the most part. Don't quote me on that. I don't know of any hike trails that go off that way. And one of these days I want to try and look for one or two. There might be a trailhead right down there, but I don't think so. I think those are people parking mainly to access Anniversary Trail that we're on. But I don't think there's too many trails that go off in a westernly direction. I'd have to look into that. Hey, that'll be uh, some future content here on the channel, maybe. And this is absolutely my favorite part of this hike. And I really hope my camera is doing this color justice between the blue sky, the green grasses, and those orange California poppies, and the pink, and the silver reflecting up off those rocks. I hope my camera does that justice. I don't know. I really hope it does. So we continue our hike onward and upward. What a view! Oh yeah! Hooey!
So it's going to get pretty windy here in a few minutes, right over the crest of this ridge. And the minute you get on the eastern facing hillsides, that wind just picks up. Woo wee! Looky where we are. Oh yeah. There's our view west. And our view east. And we're just going to kick back here and enjoy the view. Alrighty guys, so we've uh, hiked on down off that trail summit. That overlook and we're gonna we're gonna continue along anniversary trail with our friendly caterpillars before they mature into butterflies and we're gonna continue on our track along anniversary trail down into the redwood forest sorry about the wind noise but I want to take a quick moment to point out that is the Foothills Park Summit at 18, maybe 1,900 feet. I've taken you guys up there before several times. Oh yeah, that is the Bay Area. Guys, so we kind of enter into phase two of this journey. And this is the kind of hike along Route 35, along the hill crest. And we're going to drop in and out of Redwood Forest and Oak Forest. And this is absolutely one of my favorite parts of the hike. So number one, it's downhill, so there's no more climbing. So it's easy. And we should make pretty good time. Should be able to maintain a good three mile per hour speed throughout. And none of it's terribly technical. Even um, the Razorback Ridge section of the trail, I wouldn't consider it technically difficult at all. So somebody tell me, in Caterpillar world, why would you be on the road? What's so desirable about being here that you can't get over there or over there? If anyone knows the answer to that, post it in the comments down below because I really would like to know what goes on in the mind of a caterpillar. A little bit of perspective taking. That's where we were. That is the summit of Windy Hill. And we just did the ridge hike down along that trail. And we're continuing. I think this is still anniversary trail. Gotta watch out for these root structures. If I'm not paying attention, they can jump out at me and trip me. Almost fell flat on my face a second ago. Pay attention, focus. Okay guys, so no dogs beyond this point. We just finished our trek on Lost Trail, up from Anniversary Trail, and we're gonna continue on our trek. So this point is much less traveled, I believe. The trails are much more narrow and a little more slender. Definite single single track width here through a lot of this section. But that's because no dogs are allowed here, so probably gets half the amount of foot traffic through here. Ground is still fairly moist and fairly wet even though our last rain was a week ago. 
so it's good. We need our rain. We need more of it, actually. So hopefully you can see the terrain right away. Much more green. Much less foot traffic through here. Oh, wow. Just came, I just came around a corner to this amazing oak forest. Look at that. Unbelievable. I'm just so in awe right now. Unreal. Some fiddlehead ferns in the sunlight. Geez, look at this. That is really cool. This whole hillside eroding and the root structure supporting what's left. That is really cool. This is almost like prehistoric, I guess. Jurassic, is that the right word for it? And we've got a little bit of a natural spring somewhere up there. Water filtering through the hillside. Unbelievable. Look at that. Hoo wee! I just love how the sun shines through and like neon green illuminates everything. That is so awesome. And here's another one. Smaller, still growing, I guess. Love that camo pattern. That's pretty cool. Amazing. Hoo-wee! God, look at the size of that redwood. Man! Big dude. Big, big dude. Hanging on the edge. Look at that. Amazing. And it looks like an oak tree toppled over into it. Looks like a couple oak trees fell over. And a bridge. Very cool. And we're still trekking on up through the redwoods towards Razorback Ridge. Should be in about maybe half a mile now. Maybe a third of a mile. Pretty soon. Doing about three miles per hour, maybe three and a quarter miles per hour speed throughout this section. Most of it is downhill, but not all of it. Lots of fiddlehead ferns. Very cool. Alrighty. I'm not sure if you guys can see through the trees, but that hillside there, that's the fire road trek we did up to Windy Hill Summit. So we're looking back through the forest and making progress. I think it's good to do that every once in a while. Pause, pump the brakes a little bit and take in your surroundings, where you're going, where you've been, perspective along the way. So far I've encountered maybe a couple hikers and one trail runner on this section of the trail. So as I suspected it's nowhere near as crowded as the other areas, which is okay. Alrighty guys, so we're at our next trail junction. So that was Lost Trail. 
and Skyline Boulevard. I think there's maybe a parking lot up here, but Skyline Boulevard is just up that way. So Razorback Ridge Trail goes up there, and it doesn't loop. It comes back down this way. So if you go up there, you got to come back down. But our descent on Razorback Ridge Trail goes down this way. So we should be dropping in elevation considerably from here on out. So this is absolutely my favorite part of the hike. Down through Razorback Ridge, series of switchbacks, downhill going this way, uphill obviously coming the opposite, but we're still continuing our trek in and out of Redwood Forest and it's just total awesome. And because I'm going downhill, I can completely savor the moment since I'm not huffing and puffing anymore. Just saw some animal, animal guts back there. A bunch of green flies all over it, probably mountain lion activity. Probably fresh kill within the past day, maybe. It's not that hot, so things don't dry out very fast. So we're definitely now dropping in elevation. The terrain is changing a little bit. Less fern on the ground. And I would imagine as we get lower, we'll see less redwoods. And we'll see more oak forest from here on out. As we navigate through the switchbacks. And just as I say that, <laughs> there's some redwoods right in front of me. So maybe not, whatever. It is what it is. Like everything on the Move OTX channel, we don't script anything. We go by, we go on the fly. Maybe I should script things. Nah, I'm not an actor. But this is one really fun section of single track. All downhill, smooth, easy terrain, packed dirt. Doesn't get any more fun than this. So we put all that work climbing up the hill in the first part of the hike so we can chill and relax on the backside of this hike here. Still seeing a lot of horse shoe prints along the trail, so there's definitely some horseback riders who have been here. Oh, this is cool. Like a tunnel. Oak forest tunnel. I would love to just pitch a tent somewhere here. It's illegal here, I can't do that, but gosh, I would love that. That would be so much fun. And we're getting into the later part of the day, so I don't think I'm gonna see too many people coming up here. Usually hikers are a morning crowd, and that's just how it is, generally speaking. I'd be surprised if someone were going to do this loop trek this late in the day. Although maybe they'll just they'll just do an out and back and not the full loop. That's always a possibility. So they are looking across as we trek on down. That is the hike up Windy Hill Fire Road. 
So we're over here in the oak forested downhill section along Razorback Ridge still. Starting to hear sounds of water again. So maybe that means we're nearing the end of our hike off this ridge. We shall see. Oh yeah, I see Alpine Road down there, I think. And yeah, we're definitely coming down. Finally, man, that was a long hike. That was a good three miles. I have to go double check my map, but based upon my pace and my timing, I did that in about 45 minutes. And at three miles per hour, maybe 3.2 miles per hour. So that's almost three miles. Hoo wee! Okay. We are here at a trail junction. Let's see what the signs say. I think this is the part of the hike where I have to hike off on the road for just a little bit. Yep. This is the entrance of Windy Hill. So now we're kind of exiting Windy Hill. So the goal now is to hop on this little section of road as we exit out that section of the trail. And the goal here is to find Eagle Trail and merge on in. There's a trail sign. And I'm hearing signs of people. Someone's screaming off in the distance. Why in the hell you do that? I have no idea, but... Oh! Those are roosters, never mind. <laughs> okay, we will continue. And we've got some trail signs up here. To Eagle Trail. To Hamlet's Gulch Trail. Okay. Hang a left up here somewhere. Alrighty, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Eagle Trail. Half a mile to Ham's Gulch. So this is one of my favorite parts of the hike too. This is just a really, really cool section of trail along the creek. And so we've pretty much covered all kinds of grounds here. Open fire road, oak forested tree canopy, redwood forest tree canopy as well. And now we're back on level grade level grade, and we're hiking along a creek. So yeah, that's one of the things I love about this hike is all the variety of the wildlife here and the natural surroundings. Cool to see us with fresh running water. Man, can't emphasize that enough. We really need more rain in California. Can't think of too many Bay Area trails that have such a variety throughout. And we pick up on the trail once more. Here we go! Back down to the creek. So we're continuing our trek on Eagle Trail, right along the water's edge now. Very cool. Oh, here we go. This is what I want to show you guys. Eagle, Eagle Trail. 
constructed 1973 as an Eagle Scout project by Sidney Trapp. Eleanor Boshi, B O U S H E Y, Boshi, Mayor. 1973, amazing. Sydney Trapp, thank you, my friend. Hope you're doing well here in 2022. So, thank you for doing this. This is an awesome, awesome trail. Very cool. So there's usually a lot of little kids down here playing and splashing in the water, but they don't want people doing that. So, we keep going. Oh, creek crossing, creek crossing, creek crossing. Watch your step. A lot of people on the trail now. Alrighty guys, we are continuing and we're actually nearing the trailhead and the parking area. So, one thing, I don't think I've ever said this on my channel before, but one thing, when you're trail hiking, look down at the footprints in the earth and in the soil. If you see vans, or more vans, or Converse All-Star, you know you're really close to the trailhead and all that jazz. The minute you start seeing Vasky, Brooks, Sacconi, Keen, <laughs> Adidas, you're a little bit farther off. All right, everybody, I think we'll wrap things up here. We're on the main fire road back into the parking lot, and I want to shoot my outro before all the little kids and stuff and the families come up this trek here. So, once again, everybody, thanks for tuning into the Move OTX channel. Hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed filming it and taking you along for the adventure through Windy Hill Preserve. As always, everyone, stay safe out there, enjoy the outdoors, and I'll catch you all on the next one.